Welcome back to Let's Play Psy Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus. It's brought to you by YouTube and GameAnyone.com. I am Game Mage, with me as always... Unlucky. And we are being very unlucky right now. Yeah, no kidding. The audio we had just recorded for this very video just... <laughs> just did not like us, did not want to work. Anyways, guys. We apologize for the past two videos. We have now made it a policy not to record that late at night. However, we did go back and get the last bottle and go and open the chest, or safe, which just contained the blueprints, so... Same thing as the last two uh, areas, so nothing major that you really did miss. Anyways, on to the next area. However, with this, with this particular level, the uh, Vicious Voodoo, is where my memory gets a little fuzzy and I just don't do as well in this area. Um, I don't know if you feel about the same on that one. Yeah, basically. Also, so, we've realized something. Sly Cooper is Batman. Well, part Batman. We'll get into that later. Anyways, we've collected all four keys we can possibly get in this area, so now it's time to unlock to go to the Inner Sanctum. Yep. Any second. Maybe. Maybe. There it is. There we go. And the people who have yet to play the level with the serpent are now really confused. Yeah, because you only need three of the keys, but there's a total of four you can get out here, so... I wonder if the game actually prevents you from... No. It no. doesn't? Yeah, I checked when I was a kid. I remember that. I checked when I was a kid. I started up a new save file to see if you could do it without... Alright, so right one. up here, we're about to get... Looks bent. like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I can unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby's Skull Temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Alright. Now what gets me is just a gigantic egg beater. Maybe she's just like an evil Betty Crocker or Death Muffins. I'd buy Death Muffins. I want another brownie. Haha. <laughs> oh, uh, if only, if only. However, we have a level to be had. Descent into, into danger. danger. And dangerous it will be. We messed I have... this up so bad. I am so glad that we have the um uh, water safety water safety like we would oh. be dying so much like boom dead no we would do the horseshoe though same thing also bentley what makes you think that like the health safety organizations would ever be like down here in Haiti. Well, I mean, they are probably down in Haiti. I mean, the World no, Health I'm... Organization is over the whole. Wow, that is really lucky. <laughs> yeah, that one was just luck, but uh, the jump was good. The jump was skill. And then I, of course, just lose the horseshoe right there for, you know, good measure. So, karma. That, yeah, I was just gonna say, is that you balancing out the awesome with the derp? Yeah. Now, what gets me, though, is, God, Sly is just... Oh, man, I'm trying to think. Because I... Oh, yeah. He's part Prince of Persia. He's part yeah. MacGyver. And yeah. he's part Indiana Jones. And now he's part Batman. Batman. Because, I mean, he basically does everything just out of thin air. He... Like, boom, that egg beater, he's like, hmm. Clearly, if I dodge this flaming skull... Whoa! Hello, there's the other horseshoe. This is Bowser's ghost. <laughs> Essentially. No, however, what it is, though, is, like, looks at that at the egg beater, just somehow knows that if he pressurizes the steam, apparently he knows that it's got steam, he will inevitably be able to have the exact trajectory and force needed to be launched where he wants to go. Basically. And then, of course, he watches his parents die, so he's also Batman. This guy must have some serious demons. I mean, look at this. He's like crawling up bones, decomposed body parts like all around him, and yeah. he's just like, yeah, you know what? Okay. Oh, and he's also part Neil Caffrey, because oh, he's a thief. Oh, oh. Okay. 
Okay, I just didn't want us to interrupt Miss Ruby again. Because she is the first boss to actually say... Like, like, I know it's used like Cooper because she uses tea. Voodoo. She drinks tea, so she knows. Drink your tea, kiddos. Drink your tea. I actually really like tea. Uh, so do I. There's actually a tea shop by us that uh, is actually pretty good. A little expensive. Tea but, Yeah. Yeah, it's too expensive for my taste. It, it depends. Sometimes when they have sales, they're okay. Yeah. Now, these jumps, like, as you can see... If you're not careful, you'll be able to... Using the slow would have been a smart idea, and I just didn't do it because I was doing fairly well. Yeah. But uh, using slow might not have been a bad idea, or just planning everything out. Now, as you saw, the reason that I will die here rather than just go back up because of the water is because I hit the spikes first. Okay. But generally, it would have just launched me back up there, and it wouldn't have been a problem. Nope. Either way. Yeah, we're pretty close to another horseshoe. What four or four? So there it is, the horseshoe, which I should take, lose really fast, I think. I don't remember. Oh well. Now, this is a little odd for us because the past few videos we've like been recording live, but then like this recording isn't live because we lost the other recording or we just weren't happy with it. Yeah, we just and like all the things we said we were going to be trying to do. We basically have just thrown out the window. So, honestly, we do whatever. We're just trying to do our best for you viewers. Um, the videos get up, you know? Hey. Yeah. It's like, we're. We're trying. I'm tired, apparently. Uh, he can get over it. I will get over it. I will continue to get over it. You will continue to collect bottles. You never had your morning coffee. I did have my morning coffee. Oh. Uh. It shouldn't be a problem. Alright guys, now here the game pulls a pretty, I don't know, I think this is a pretty much a jerk move though, it's about to come it up. Really is, it like, really is. Like, they give you a horseshoe, jerk. that's cool, that's, that's that's nice, you know. Now we're back up to the golden horseshoe. And it's at this point, right here, And that um, I, I had him. I had actually missed these uh, uh, the first time I looked until, yeah, I'm lucky to point them out, but... There's bottles down here. By dropping down is how you get these. Now there probably is another way to get them. But, um, I miscalculated my jump. Anyways, by getting these bottles, there's no way back up. Yeah. And if there is, I missed it. Like, I just couldn't fathom it. Yeah. And we actually, upcoming here, we, we really do try. I say upcoming because you just couldn't think of anything to say, like, just to kill the time. Yeah. I find that funny. Whatever. I got to, once again was like, oh, you know, falling, slide, slice at CO physics. But here yeah. we are. We're trying to get on that rope because generally the game's pretty forgiving, but uh, it just doesn't want any of it. Say, and that was weird. I didn't read the circle button when I had pressed it. Like maybe I didn't press it at the opportune moment, but I, I got it the second time. Yeah. But you know, it just really sucks because you've had to do this huge backtracking. That really does put you towards like the beginning of the stage. Yeah. You know, luckily you don't have any of the enemies, just security cameras to or security alarms to worry about. So but it's kind of like one less thing. Especially with some of the uh, problems we run into later on in the video, uh, it just gets more and more frustrating. This level was just not not good to us at all. You know, it was really hard for us, and which is just weird because, once again, we've had I've talked to my friends who were like, "Yeah, this game's like super, super easy." BS. And like, I don't know. Maybe if you're just speed running it, it's pretty easy, I guess. Like, you're not worrying about everything. You're not worrying about like the models. You're not worrying about like the extra power ups, or you're not thinking of like when I'm talking, I'm you know my focus is kind of split, so I'm not always thinking of commentary to say when, uh, you know, when when I'm doing stuff because right now it's actually me playing and vice versa so yeah. it's just a little tough and here's, i think that it adds the screw up that i'm talking about so he just jumps this down move, and i just you can slow i down would not have any of it so i just cut yeah, it to so. save time guys we're just you know Hold we're, we're going to bring you back up to the top of the waterfall so here we are after you've clicked all the bottles without any major screw ups you should be able to get right back up here and continue on with the level yeah so i thought that that was like a solid platform it looked pretty you know gelatinous to me I mean, that's legitimate in these games. They do have, like, the jello kind of boingy substance, if you understand what I mean, viewers.
Alright, so now you see we have the, the Flame Skull guy. I've yet to actually get hit by him, but what makes this tough is the uh, security alarm. So really get that out of the way. Uh, start knocking off the candles. But so long as you're moving and you know, he doesn't hit like dead center, he's really not a problem. Like even if he hits the same platform you're on, as long as you have water safety, it really doesn't matter. And this right here, this is not your computer. Uh, this is the video processing. Uh, what ended up happening is we had to make one. That we actually had to cut a little bit of dead air, and the video elongated itself somehow to compensate. So it slowed down also in the video processing. This lasts for roughly about uh, 30 more seconds or so. Just about. So just uh, bear with us. You know, it will be some. It, it does fix itself. It's not going to be some kind of major problem, and it won't be continuing hopefully throughout the series or anything. So but it's just a snafu on our part. Yeah, we're gonna try not to have any more videos that need major editing, like cuts and things of that nature. I mean, does stuff happen? Yes. Yes. So but hey, we're not making. We're not saying it'll never happen, but we'll do our best to try and avoid it. Yeah. Now here we. Uh, here at this point, we just wanted to make sure nothing was going to be missing. So we pull out our handy Banaki cam. Using the blueprints, we see we can find what bottles are where. Uh, oh, as you can see, the enemy names, they don't actually change like individual, like for each individual. It's just whatever type of enemy, and that's the name for just that entire type of enemy. Yep. So uh, we haven't missed anything thus far, so we're just going to be continuing onward. Yes, we will. Uh, the torches, if you're not careful, can screw you up, but for the most part, it's pretty easy timing. And it's only really, it only really becomes a problem if you're frustrated in that. Alright, now here the game also didn't read when I hit the circle button on this upcoming vine, so we're going to just cut that out, because here we're showing the final two bar bottles, but right there it didn't register, the but because button. I didn't land in the water, it won't send me back up there. So, we're just going to meet you guys back up there and uh, start grinding down that rail to the, uh, new, the, to the safe. Yeah, right. so this will be the second cut in this video, and uh, hopefully there's just the second one overall. All right, guys, here we are. We're grinding on the rail. Make sure you hop off to the right to grab the final two bottles, and here we are at the safe. So pretty straightforward. Yeah. Five, seven, one, eh? And as you can see, we got some achievements there, which is really kind of cool. But uh, our trophies, but it, you know, those are like extras. But uh, they are big. They are a part of the game, and we do want to show them. Yeah. But the power up, as you saw, was the uh, upgrade for the slow. Now, rather instead of just slow whenever we jump, we can slow whenever. Yeah. So honestly, I don't really remember it being too useful. I know that there is a use for it. I just don't seem to remember it. But here Maybe we are. Towards the end of the game. Grinding straight into the key, which is treasure key number, number five. five, guys. So now uh, the next two videos are might be a little bit longer and might have to have. Maybe more, more than one part, depends on how hard it is for us to do. Just because that was all of the safe, like the bottle room, like there's no other bottles that are about to, in the areas. There's just these next two levels, and then we have the voodoo priestess herself. Yep. So, oh no, no, no! Sorry guys, that was uh, a total accident. We're going to get to this level next time, however, um... We'll see you later. Yeah, we'll definitely see you guys later. I think that's about it. Yeah, have a good one. So until okay, then, okay. we shall see you later, guys. Yeah, I Bye. guess we can say that enough.